I'm Tracy Baxter with today's Record News Watch. All you procrastinators are just about out of time. You have until midnight tonight to file this year's tax returns. Normally, the deadline is April 15th, but because of the Washington, D.C. Emancipation Day holiday, which fell on Saturday, the deadline was extended to today. The Middletown Post Office was doing a brisk business this morning, but the office's customer supervisor says tax deadline day was only a part of what is normally a busy work day. A lot of people come in uh, at the last minute, try to get their tax forms and tax returns mailed out today, so it could be day plug today, so it could be mailed out. And Monday usually a very busy day because everybody mail out their bills and uh, send out packages to uh, respective uh, customers or, or friends or family. The increased number of people who file online has eased the 11th hour crunch to a degree for those who uh, handle our mail. Post offices in Middletown, Kingston and Monroe are among those uh, that will stay open until 7 tonight. If you miss the deadline, you'll need to submit Form 4868 to get a six-month extension. Funeral services will be held Thursday in Rockland County for the victims of last week's tragedy in Newburgh. Friends and loved ones will gather at First Baptist Church in Spring Valley to say their goodbyes to 25-year-old LaShandra Armstrong and her three young children, five-year-old Landon Pierre, two-year-old Lance Pierre, and 11-month-old Leania. Armstrong drove her minivan into the Hudson River, killing herself and the children. A fourth child, 10-year-old LaShawn Armstrong, was able to escape the vehicle before it sank. Efforts are underway to create a fund to assist the boy. The Orange County District Attorney's Office has labeled the case a murder-suicide. An Ulster County woman has been charged with first-degree assault for repeatedly stabbing her brother during a violent domestic dispute late Sunday night. 27-year-old Donna Adams of Napanock is being held in the Ulster County Jail on $75,000 bail pending a court appearance on Wednesday. Sheriff's deputies say her brother, who was not identified by police, was stabbed several times at Adams' residence at 78 Clinton Street. He is listed in critical condition after after being airlifted to Westchester Medical Center. A guilty plea to five misdemeanor charges apparently won't stop Monticello Mayor Gordon Jenkins from running for re-election. Jenkins and his girlfriend Rochelle Massey pleaded guilty Friday to selling phony Nike footwear at his store on Broadway in Monticello last year. In exchange for his guilty plea, Jenkins will avoid jail time and can remain in office. Well, there were some issues, like I said, with my uh, the way my business was handled and some issues, and I'm gonna, uh, you know, there was some business decisions that weren't correct and I'm going to correct them and I'm going to just, I'm moving on to what I have to do in the village. When he's sentenced June 13th, prosecutors will recommend a $5,000 fine, more than $1,000 in restitution, and that the confiscated counterfeit merchandise be sent to an impoverished country at Jenkins' expense. The plea deal came during jury selection for a trial where Jenkins and Massey would have faced felony trademark counterfeiting charges. It wasn't your routine high school graduation day today in Ulster County. About a dozen men who never graduated from high school because they'd answered their country's call during wartime received diplomas during an Operation Recognition Program at the Business Resource Center in Kingston. Operation Recognition awards diplomas to any veteran of the armed forces who didn't graduate but is worthy based on the knowledge and experience gained during military service. Reporter Jeremiah Horgan will spotlight the special grads in an upcoming edition of the Times-Herald Record. And people have a new reason to pay a visit to Newburgh. Saturday was the grand opening for Motorcyclopedia, a motorcycle museum located in the former Myron Lumber Building at uh, 250 Lake Street. The museum was the idea of Ted Doring, who uh, began accumulating antique bikes at his motorcycle parts business. The exhibits include a wall of death used by stunt riders, as well as motorcycles that rode in motorcades for President Nixon, and one that rode in the John F. Kennedy motorcade on the day he was assassinated. The Newburgh Motorcyclopedia Museum is open Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays from 10 to 5. 
Well, keep the foul weather gear handy. There is more rain in the local forecast. Tomorrow will be cloudy with showers likely. Temperatures will be in the mid 50s. Pretty much the same story for Wednesday. Clouds and rain with the highs reaching the low 60s. Keep clicking back here at Record Online to stay on top of breaking news and get all the information that's important to you in tomorrow's edition of the Times Herald Record. For Record News Watch, I'm Tracy Baxter.